Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet this very easy winter hat. So for this head I have some leftovers from my previous project which was my Kurt Cobain jumper so I will be using this leftover so check for the label that video Kurt Cobain jumper so it's an aran weight yarn and I use about 150 grams of each color so 150 grams of red and 150 grams of this dark gray color but of course you could use any colors you like or prefer also I will be using five millimeters hook you will need some stitch markers pair of scissors, some clips, tape measure and also the optional you will need one button to attach the pom-pom if you like to wear the pom-poms. Of course if you don't you don't need the button. I like to use these pom-poms with the elastic. So for this head we will be using this beautiful hands tooth stitch so i use this dark gray and red of course you can use any colors you like or prefer so as you can see these colors go super well together so here we will be adding the ribbing later on and this will be the top part of your head of course if you want you can start with the red first and then work with the dark gray it's totally up to you what color you prefer to start with and then once we are done with this last row we will work on our ribbing and of course you could choose the color you prefer so for this head i have done 25 rows but this head can be made in any size simply we will create the chain and the chain need to be any odd number and the chain need to wrap comfortably around your head so this is the most important part so your chain need to be any odd number and they need to wrap around your head comfortably so for any adult size or teenager head size i would recommend 71. so first i am going to show you on a small sample how to work on this hands tooth stitch then we will fasten off here and we will add the ribbing once we have the ribbing we will create the seam and close our head here at the top and then we will attach the pom-pom but to show you better on the camera how to work on that hand tooth stitch I'll be using these two light colors and also I created a hooded scarf with this beautiful hand tooth stitch which you will find the card in the right top corner and also in my playlist crochet stitches I have a tutorial how to work on this stitch as well in a very very deep detail so first the measurements for this hat so i have about 22 and half inches and 
then about nine inches and then we will add the ribbing so now i am going to show you on this small sample how to work on this houndstooth stitch remember i have a tutorial in crochet stitches playlist as well hold your yarn like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook and now you have this slip knot for this head you will need to chain any odd number odd number means one three five and so on so for this head we chain 71 but for this small sample i will chain a short chain to show you how to work on this stitch so i chain for this sample 21 but remember this is only the sample piece so for your head chain 71 like me or any odd number so once you have your chain we are going to work into this second chain from the hook or stitch if you like and we will work single crochet like so for each row you will always start with single crochet and you will always end up with double crochet like so so now we have single crochet into the next stitch you will work double crochet so yarn over three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and that's your double crochet into the next stitch you will work again single crochet into the next stitch work double crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch work double crochet like so and that's how we are going to repeat it all the way across single crochet double crochet then single crochet double crochet and so on and for each row you will start with single crochet and finish with double crochet so continue working like so all the way across for this row one now i'm finishing this first row and i have done double crochet here so next one will be single crochet and as i said each row you will start with single crochet and finish with double crochet but before we finish each row we will change the color first so work on your double crochet as you would normally you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through first two loops now you have two loops on your hook do not fasten off we will always finish like this leave it like so and now we will bring our second color so you will always finish with double crochet but before you finish your double crochet you will always bring another color so you will have unfinished double crochet first we will attach another color and then we will finish our double crochet so place your second color on your hook like so and pull through those two loops you still had on your hook now make it a little bit tighter so those loops will get together nice and tight now chain one like so and that's how we are going to finish your double crochet now turn your work and now we will work straight under the chain one so you will work with your gray color in this second row but we do not fasten the blue color 
because we will carry it over. So as we work with the gray color, we will be also working with this blue color, but we will be hiding as we work on our row two. So now with this gray color, you will work single crochet, but this blue color, you will hold like this. And then you will work single crochet inside here, this space straight under your chain one. Okay, so hold it like this, lift it a little bit so you can see. Now insert your hook like so, yarn over the gray one and work on your single crochet like so. So we can start this row two. But make sure this blue yarn is inside that single crochet like so. So now again you will work single crochet, double crochet. So into the next stitch you will work double crochet. But as you work, make sure this blue yarn is inside your stitches like this. So into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, double crochet again. Make sure you holding that blue yarn and you carry it over. So I have into the next stitch, I will work double crochet, hold your yarn like so, and also the blue one on top of your stitches like this. Into the next one, single crochet, into the next one, double crochet again and so on you will simply repeat what we did in row one so now i'm nearly at the end but remember still holding the blue one on top like so as we work so i have done double crochet here next one will be single crochet and again we are here at the end and we will work again double crochet but we will not finish it Okay, so insert your hook, yarn over, you will have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through first two. Now you have two loops on your hook and now it will be much easier. Now to finish this row two, you will finish with the blue one. So make sure you will bring your blue one now like so and finish your double crochet like so. Now we are going to chain one with the blue one to start row three. So we chain one and now we are going to turn our work. So for this third row we will carry over this light gray color as we did before with the blue color. So now we chain one and under the chain one is a space and we will work again single crochet first. So I show you where to right here under this chain of one. So you will work single crochet right here. But remember you will carry over this gray color. Okay, so hold it like so make sure the yarn is on top and work single crochet. Now we are working with the blue color, but we carry over the gray color. Okay, so again right here you will work single crochet. So chain one with the blue color because we will be working with the blue color for this row three. So insert and work single crochet like so. Make sure the gray color you will carry over. So into the next stitch work double crochet. Into the next stitch work single crochet but make sure this gray color is on top. We will carry it over to the other side like so. So we need to hide it as we work on our stitches. 
so work single crochet into the next one work double crochet into the next one work single crochet and so on so you will work like so all the way across single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet but you will carry over this gray color as we work with this blue one so we are finishing this row three so i have double crochet here single crochet into the next one double crochet and again single crochet into the next one and now we are at the end of this row three and we already know we will work double crochet but we will not finish it so we have three loops on our hook now yarn over and pull through first two and now bring the gray color again place it on your hook and finish your double crochet with the gray color because the next row we will work with the gray color so make sure you won't get tangled because when I work on this stitch I always get tangled chain one and turn your work remember chain one with the gray color because in this row we will work with the gray color and we will carry over the blue color so now again we will work right here under this chain of one so this is your chain of one and we will work like so so hold it on top so when you work you will carry over this blue yarn so work single crochet but now we are working with the gray color but we will carry over the blue color so work your first single crochet like so make sure you hold the blue color into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch single crochet and carry over this blue yarn on top of your stitches like so so that's how you are going to continue working on your Hamstood stitch so again here I am at the end I have completed my double crochet now single crochet and the last one will be my unfinished double crochet so pull through first two place blue one on your hook and finish your double crochet with the blue one because the next row we will work with the blue and we will carry over the gray chain one turn your work now we will carry over the gray color but we will work with the blue color again under this chain of one is a space and we will work single crochet right there and we will carry over the gray one and we will work single crochet with the blue one and this row with the blue color so single crochet first the next one will be double crochet next one will be single crochet and so on so we already know how to start and how to finish each row and we already know how to change those colors as well so you will work on your head like this so you will work on your head and one more thing i wanted to tell you before you finish you need to decide what color you want your ribbing so if you want your ribbing with the blue color your last row should be with the blue color if you want your ribbing to be gray your last row should be with the gray color so once you have as many rows as you need so i have done 25 but if you want your head to be more slouchy my one is slouchy but some people like it very slouchy you can add more rows so now i am going to show you how to fasten off your head so i have completed single crochet but now into this last stage i will work normal double crochet with this blue color so 
I have done double crochet with the blue collar and I am going to cut this grey collar like so and to fasten off I will go into this grey row below like this one more time so you can see better and I will pull it through now I will create a loop like this and then I will pull the end through and make a knot so simply fasten off like this and I fasten off the gray one because I want my ribbing to be blue so I will work with this blue one on my ribbing so chain one and turn your work so my last row is with the blue color because my ribbing will be also blue so now before we start to work on ribbing we will work in every stitch across single crochet and this row of single crochet will be our preparation row before we start to work on our ribbing so one single crochet in each stitch across like so so if you want your ribbing with the gray color you will do exactly the same thing what i'm doing now but your last row will be with the gray color and you will also do single crochet row with the gray color so i am here at the end my last single crochet and now we can work on our ribbing so for my ribbing i decided to chain five and then i will add one more now if you want your ribbing to be longer you can go longer but don't forget to chain one the chain one will be your turning chain so i will chain five for my ribbing and then i will add one more that one more will be my turning chain so now we will work on our ribbing if you want it longer you would simply double it so you could just fold it in half and have this like a double ribbings but for me i decided to go only with five plus one so i chain five plus one and the one is my turning chain now into the second chain from the hook you will work single crochet and you will work single crochet all the way down and from now on i will have only five single crochet as you can see and that will be my ribbing so now once you have it all the way down you are going to turn it like so okay so turn it and where is this space here we won't work there because that's a part of our starting chain okay so ignore this space and into the next stitch you will work slip stitch and into the next stitch you will work slip stitch okay i also have video how to attach ribbing to your project so i will leave card in the right top corner so find the next stitch and work slip stitch find the next stitch and work slip stitch again now we are going to turn our work we are going to skip those two slip stitches so one and two and find the next stitch and work single crochet but under the back loop only so we have single crochet but we will work under the back loops so place the loop on your hook again turn your work skip those two slip stitches find a stitch and work single crochet back loop only one single crochet back loop only second stitch single crochet back loop only third stitch and single crochet back loop only 
fourth stitch into the last one here at the top of your ribbing you will always work single crochet but under the both loops so under the full stitch like so and this way your ribbing will be much stronger and nicer now chain one and turn your work and that's how we are going to work on your ribbing so now we chain one we will skip the chain one and we will work single crochet back loop only into the second stitch like so for one two into the third one into the fourth one and into the fifth stitch single crochet back loop only like so and you should still have five stitches like me if you chain five plus one so now this space here you will ignore it because that's a part of your last row we will work slip stitch into the next one and slip stitch into the next one right here so ignore this space here work slip stitch into the next and slip stitch into the next like so and turn your work skip one slip stitch and the second one work single crochet back loop only one single crochet back loop only into second one single crochet back loop only into the third one and into the fourth one like so we are here at the top and we will work single crochet under the full stitch like so chain one and turn your work and this is your beautiful ribbing as you can see so we are here at the top we will skip the chain one and we will work single crochet back loop only all the way down so one two three four and five and now again this is the space we are going to ignore and we will work slip stitch into the next and slip stitch into the next we will always have two slip stitches like so turn your work skip those two slip stitches and work single crochet back loop only all the way up and when you get to your last stitch we already know work single crochet under the full stitch chain one and turn your work and that's how we are going to work on your ribbing for your head so you will work on your ribbing in all these stitches all the way across to your last stitch like so and once you have your ribbing completed we will work on our head so i will show you how to complete the top and the seam so before we do so we are going to finish this head and my ribbing will be with the gray color so my last row will be also with the gray color but we need to fasten off this red color as we did on our sample so i am going to cut it off leave this gray because we'll be working on our ribbing later insert your hook in the row below and pull through the red end like we did on the sample so now create this loop and bring the end through the loop like so and fasten off pull it really nice and tight and then we will hide it later on now chain one and we will do exactly the same what we did on our sample so because my ribbing will be gray i will finish my last row with the gray color and now we will do this preparation row so we will work single crochet in every stitch across like so
Once you come to your last stitch, do not fasten off because we'll be working on our ribbing. And I am finishing here. So my last single crochet, like so. And again for the ribbing. As I said, when we were working on the sample, you can go as long as you like. So as you can tell, here on these light colors, we could see much better. That's why I decided to work on this small sample first and then to finish our head together. So I will chain five and then I will add one more. So exactly the same what I did on my sample, but of course you could go as long as you like. Just remember to add one more and the one more will be your turning chain. So now into the second stitch, you will work single crochet and you will work single crochet all the way down as we did on our sample. And from now on, you should have only five stitches. So I have five plus one, so I chain six and then the one more was my turning chain. So from now on, I will always have only five stitches. Now turn it like so. Again, ignore this space here and work slip stitch into the next, slip stitch into the next. Turn your work. We are going to skip those two slip stitches as we did on our sample, as it is a little bit trickier to see on this dark gray and the red. That's why I was working on that sample with you so you know what I'm doing now. So work single crochet, back loop only, all the way up for four stitches. And the last one, fifth one is under the full stitch and you will always work here at the top your last stitch under the full stitch chain one and turn your work now again work single crochet back loop only all the way down like so the last one is always hiding very well ignore that space right here and find the next stitch work slip stitch and next stitch work slip stitch turn your work skip those two slip stitches and you will work exactly the same as i showed you on the sample right here so now i am nearly at the end i chain one and I'm going to work single crochet back loop only all the way down. So one, two, three, four, and the last one. And as you can see, I have only one stitch left. So I will do slip stitch like so. Now I will chain one. And as you can see, this will be my last row. So now we are going to leave a long yarn end like so. So we can sew the seam and the top of our head. So about one and a half meters to two meters should be enough. Okay. So leave your long yarn and cut it off. And now we can fasten off like so. So pull that long yarn and through that chain of one, like so. And it should be nice and tight. So now we are ready to create a seam. Before we do so, we are going to count our ribbing. When they go like this, it means two ribbings. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 
and so on. So all together for my head, I have 73 rows. In measurements, my ribbing is about one and a half inch. So we have all the measurements all together from the top with my ribbing. I have about ten and a half inches. So this is our head prepared for the next step. As you can see, this is the wrong side of my head and it looks amazing as well. So I think you could use any side you prefer to be as your right side. But I will be using this side as my right side. So now we will create the seam and then we will finish the head at the top. So fold it like so, so your right sides are together. Before we do so, we are going to hide all these ends. So simply just hide the ends as good as you can. Gray end in the gray row and red ends in the red rows. So I pick this as my right side. So make sure the wrong side is on top. So the right sides are together like so. So now we are going to work on our seam. Before we do so, I am going to thread this long yarn end as I want to get to this corner right here. So simply just thread it like so and get to that corner as we want to create the seam and we want to start from that corner right here. So simply just pull it and get to that corner like so. So now we are ready to work on our seam. So these corners should be matching and also as you work, make sure your rows are matching. So before we start to sew, I like to use these clips. They are just amazing. So as you can see here, rows should be matching all the way up. So also as you sew, please check on this as it is very important. So your rows will be blending in nicely. So it will be invisible that seam. So these clips are really great to keep your crochet projects together like so. So I use this clips a lot and they are just great. So if you don't have these clips, you could also use the bags. So let's get started. So I will start in this corner right here and I like to do two to three stitches in the corner as you will be putting your head on and off. So it's better to have two to three stitches and make it much stronger this way. So once you have your two to three stitches, make sure you won't get tangled as I always do. <laughs> so once you have it, we are ready to sew all the way up. So as you work, get the clips out of the way. I like to place my finger between the layers and I will start to sew from the inside, like so. Again, I will go from the inside. Like this, make it nice and tight. And again, go from the inside. And that's how I am going to sew all the way up. And as I sew, I keep my finger between the layers so it's much easier to see. And also 
please don't forget that you will have to check if your rows are matching as it is very important with this stitch so this is my ribbon completed and now we'll be working all the way up sewing like so so i am here at the top as you can see and i have last few stitches here and again here at the top make sure you get to your very last stitch so this is our seam completed once you have it before we continue we will check our seam from the right side and now as you can see the rows are matching very well and they're blending in together so you can really see the seam so we go to the top of our head and now we are ready to close our head so we will go all the way around like so so you will work on your stitches like this so work this running stitch like so and as you work you can slowly start to gather remember we are still on the wrong side so simply work like so do few stitches and then gather again not too much just a little bit as it can be tricky to work with this long yarn end so you will work close to the edge like this and make sure the stitches are not too big so you will work all the way around and as you work on this running stitch you will slowly gather your head as well so once you come to your seam here i show you what to do next so simply continue gathering and working on your running stitch so you can go all the way around once or twice so simply do exactly the same what you did for the first time you can do it twice and gather so now as you can see here i am close to that seam and i decided to go one more time so it's much stronger so as you can see as we were gathering it will be a little bit more trickier so try to do exactly what you did if you want you could stretch it a little bit so you can see better but you will simply do exactly the same working on your running stitch So I am finishing here where is my seam and I went all the way around twice now I will pull it really really tight like so until you have a really small gap in the middle so just go as tight as you can now I like to grab it like this so make it as tight as possible first 
and once you can't go any tighter we will close this gap right in the middle so i like to hold it like this and then work on few stitches so we can close this gap in the middle completely as you can see here so do as good as you can and remember we are still on the wrong side so just close it as good as you can like this few stitches across and again few stitches across from each side So you won't have any gap in the middle nice and tight so once you are happy and there is no visible gap in the middle do not fast enough because I am going to attach a button so we can attach the pom-pom so I think they should be just perfect few stitches here so now before we continue we are going to check from the right side and now as you can see there is no more gap at all so now you have two options if you don't want to wear this head with the pom-pom you will simply just fasten off on the wrong side and this is your top so if you don't want this head with the pom-pom you will just fasten off and you will be done but because i want this head with the pom-pom in the future i will use this pom-pom and i will show you how to attach the button so in the future the button can be there but you can and also you don't have to wear it with the pom-pom this head so it's totally up to you so before we continue choose the button now i like to choose the button so my your needle can go through just make sure your buttons go bigger holes for example like this one so first we are going to sew the button and then i show you how to attach the pom-pom to the button now your head is on the wrong side so once we close that gap we did not fast enough and now we are going to sew the button so of course i sew my button this way but if you have your preferred way don't be afraid to use your way to attach the button so i like to sew my button just like this easy peasy way so just two to three stitches just to make sure the button is nice and secured like this nice and tight so just like this nice and tight and then i will just finish it like this two two three times like so to lift that button a little bit and fasten off like so like this and our button is prepared so in the future you can wear pom-pom or you don't have to but you have this option if you like to wear it with your pom pom you have this button hidden inside like this the seam is here so i will turn it the right way so the seam is at the back i like to wear my head with the seam at the back so this is 
your head completed. This is your button attached. And now I show you how to attach the pom pom. So insert your smaller hook. I will be using this three millimeters hook. Insert it from the wrong side. Remember, this is your wrong side. Where is your button? And now bring the pom pom and place that elastic on your hook like so. Pull through, stretch that loop and pull it over your button like this. Super easy, very, very clever. And now you have your pom pom attached. So in the future, if you don't want it, simply just take it off and you can wear this hat two ways with pom pom or without so you have these two options and i think this head looks amazing with the pom pom i really love this head and it's so christmasy and very very beautiful i love this handstood stitch and also the pom poms now if you don't want to wear the pom pom you will simply take it off like so stretch the elastic and remove it like so and now your head is without a pom pom so it's totally up to you if you are going to wear it with or without and this is it this is our beautiful head super easy to make really really lovely you can make it in any colors you like or prefer with or without a pom-pom of course you can change the pom-pom for different color totally up to you so if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias i am on facebook instagram pinterest and tiktok thank you very much for watching